The llamas love Christmas, and their favorite thing about it is getting the Christmas tree and decorating it. Where is little Fluffy? Oh, Fluff, go ahead, we're counting on you. And before we go inside and set up our tree, Today is a huge special day because me and these crazy little llamas are at a Christmas tree farm. The llamas love Christmas and their favorite thing about it is getting the Christmas tree and decorating it. Last year the llamas had a fake tree and they liked it. However, this year little Fluffy and little Lombie were insisting that we get a real tree. So I was like, okay llamas, let's just go down the road and just go get a tree from the store. And they're like, ah, no llama mama. We need a real Christmas tree that we sniff out an actual Christmas tree from an actual Christmas tree factory. So then I was like, okay. So we literally drove 12 hours and today we are here at an actual Christmas tree farm and it's gonna be super exciting because these crazy little llamas are gonna sniff out the Christmas tree of their liking. So let me flip in. Are you ready to go get a Christmas tree? <laughs> oh, llamas, they are super ready. So come on guys, let's go explore and find a tree. All right, llamas, let's get to sniffing and see what you can find, okay? Oh, llamas, look. Here's some baby trees. Lobby Fluffy, why don't you see if you want this one? Lama Bean, what do you think about this tree right here? Oh, it's not big enough. Oh yeah, that's true. Lama Bean is literally as big as this tree. It's so cute though, look how cute this tree is. Like, sometimes I think like, when trees are small like this, like they're so adorable. But apparently the llamas want something a little bit bigger, so we will keep on exploring to see if we like something. What's that, Fluff? Oh. Fluffbean just told me that she really wants a tree that's super fluffy. Now that makes sense because Fluffbean is extremely fluffy. I mean, name a fluffier llama. I'll be waiting. Anyways, let's keep looking at these trees. As you guys can see, actually, there's tons of baby little trees over here. So I'm not too sure if Lombie and Fluffbean would like these trees to be their main tree. So let's go see if we can find a little bit bigger trees. Okay, Lama Bean Fluff Bean, now I'm gonna let you crazy little llamas go adventure on your own, okay? Use your sensitive noses to sniff out a tree. I'm gonna let you walk on your own, all right? Here you go. There's lots of trees all the way over here. There's smaller ones, bigger ones, so I want you two to run off and find the perfect Christmas tree, okay? Oh, Lama. Lama, do not pass out. This is so exciting. Sometimes the llamas get so excited they just pass out. All right, Lama Fluff, go find your tree. Guys, guys, look at them. They're so cute. They're just running off into the tree forest. Anyways, guys, I want to talk to you about something. So, something that I really want to know. I want to know, what is your favorite part about the beginning of Christmas? Like, right now? Like, right after Thanksgiving? Like, what's your favorite part? Mine is definitely, like like I said, finding the Christmas tree and making a gingerbread house. Me and the llamas, we're going to be doing so many festive things for Christmas this year. We're going to be making gingerbread houses, going Christmas shopping, decorating, and you know what, guys? You know what I'm really excited about? What if the elf on the shelf shows up again? It's going to be really exciting. So, there's a lot of different things but I want to know what is your favorite leave a comment down below all right Lama Bean Fluffy have you found a tree yet oh no oh I see Lama Bean Lama Bean's right there Lama Bean get over here Lama Bean oh uh, Lama Bean oh there's Lama Bean little Lama Bean let me ask you have you found a tree that you like yet oh <gasps> what's that Lama uh-huh oh oh la Lama Bean are you talking about this one Okay, so Lama Bean just said she's having a really hard time right now because she can't decide between this tree right here and this tree. Well, Lama Bean, why is that? Like, let me know why you decide between these two trees. Oh, she said she really likes the smell of this one. This one smells like a lot of Christmas trees all in one, like a super strong scent. And then this one right here, she thinks it's prettier. Well, you know what, Lama Bean? This is going to be a question for you and Fluff Bean, okay? Maybe Fluff Bean can help us and decide between these two trees. Speaking of Fluff, where the heck is my little Fluff Bean? Oh, Fluff Bean! Little Fluff! Guys, where's Fluff? We gotta go find Fluff, come on! Fluff! We gotta find Fluff Bean. Where is little Fluff Bean? Oh, Fluff. Oh my gosh, I really hope we can find Fluff. Like, she probably got distracted by some type of food. That always happens. Lava Bean, please help us try to find Fluff. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. Oh my goodness, guys, look. Fluff is literally inside the tree. Fluff Bean. Hang on with all your little llama muscles. Oh my gosh, Fluffy literally looks like he's stuck right now. How did you even get up there, Fluff? What's that, Fluff? 
You really want that tree? Oh my goodness, guys. Fluffy, well, Fluffy just said she did want a fluffy tree, but this is crazy, Fluffy. We can't even fit this in our car. Like, guys, this is literally like the biggest tree in the whole world. Just check it out. Like, little Fluffy, how do you expect us to even put that tree in our house? Like, there's no way we can get that tree. Well, actually, guys, we never give up, but right now we have to focus on saving little Fluffy because she's just hanging on by a needle, literally a needle. Fluffy, you better hold on, okay? We'll get you down. Oh my gosh, we gotta get you down. But how are we gonna get you down, Fluff? Hmm. Oh, 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 I know. Lama Bean, tell him. <coughs> oh, Lama. Oh, Lama Bean just said that we can call Toast. Toast and Lama Dean. Yes, that's right. Because Toast and Lama Dean always send the llamas when they're in trouble. Okay, we gotta get him on the phone. Let's go call Toast. Okay, Lama Bean, I'm pretty sure that you memorized Toast and Lama Dean's number. Will you call them? Okay, Lama. Oh, it's ringing. Hopefully they pick up. <gasps> the answer. Lama, what did they say? <gasps> they're on the way and they're gonna help us save Fluff? Okay, Lama. All right, guys, get excited. What's that, Lama? They said they'd be here in four seconds. Really? One, two, three, four. Hmm, where are they? <gasps> oh my goodness, there they are right now. Oh my gosh, Lama Dean. How are you guys? Oh my gosh, how did you even get here? And why are you on pieces of wood? That always happens. Like you guys always come here and like it's so fast. It's super quick. Like you must have been doing something crazy. Anyways, Fluffy's literally stuck in the tree right now and we need your help. Why do you have two pieces of wood? What's that Toast? Oh, Toast just said that these aren't pieces of giant wood. They're giant chopsticks. I'm sorry, Toast. You know, chopsticks, they are pretty cool. So, Toast said that we're going to use these giant chopsticks to get little Fluff Bean out of the tree. <gasps> it's okay, Fluff, we're gonna get you out. Keep holding on. Okay, Lama Dean, okay, Toast. Let's get Fluff out of the tree. Guys, we gotta save Fluff, and then we actually gotta find a tree. Okay, come on, Fluff. We're gonna save you. Little Toast, how do you even use these as chopsticks? Cause like, these things look like it's made for an elephant. These things are huge. How am I supposed to use this? Like, I can't even balance it with my one hand. Toast, aren't you supposed to use it like this to pick up food? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, all right, this isn't gonna work. Flappy, don't worry, we'll be up there soon. We're gonna problem solve this. What's that, Toast? Oh, that's a great idea. Toast just said that we need a giant rubber band to put on the end of the chopsticks to make it easier to use. You know, like when you're in the Chinese restaurant and they have the easier chopsticks for you when you're eating your foods? That's right. Okay, Toast, but wait, where are we gonna find a rubber band? What's that, Lama Dean? You have a better idea. You don't have a rubber band, but you have duct tape. Oh, we could just tape it. Lama Dean, that's a great idea. Oh my goodness, and would you look at that? It looks like you brought duct tape with you. All right, that's perfect. So we're gonna take this duct tape and we're gonna wrap it around the end of these giant chopsticks and we're gonna get little Fluffy down out of the tree. Okay, let's do this thing. Let's check out little Fluffy to see if she's doing all right. Little Fluff, are you okay? Oh, she's hungry. Fluff, it's okay. We'll get you food after this, okay? Hang in there, just hold on. Oh, your little... Your little paws are getting sweaty. Oh, Fluff, just hold on. Just hold on with your mouth or just hold on with something. Hold on with your tail, something, your fur. You just gotta hold on. We're gonna get these chopsticks made right now. All right, guys, here we go. We're making some giant chopsticks. You know, I think this is actually gonna work really well because Fluff Bean loves food, especially when she uses the chopsticks. So like, I think it's gonna work out great because Fluff Bean and chopsticks. However, Fluff Bean has never been on the other end of a chopstick, so. I don't know if that's gonna be okay, but you guys know we never give up, so we're gonna make these giant chopsticks save little Fluffy. Don't worry, Fluff, we're almost done. Oh, I think it's coming together very nice. This is looking amazing. Guys, even though we didn't have a rubber band, we found duct tape, and you know what, guys? That's a good lesson, because you never wanna give up in life, and if something doesn't work, there's always something else that's gonna work, so, you know, just keep going. Remember that, keep going. Okay, I think that's good. All right. Okay, let's see if these giant chopsticks work. Woo! All right, all right guys, we're gonna check to see if these giant chopsticks actually work. Okay, I'm gonna pick up this duct tape. Lama Bean, let me know if I'm doing this right, okay? Lama Bean, you too, I need to know because if I'm not, like we need to save Fluff Bean ASAP. 
Okay, we gotta do this really good. We got this. Let's. I'm gonna try to pick up this little duct tape right here, see if it works. Okay, I think it's gonna work. Oh, <gasps> no way. Oh, dang it. Okay, that's okay. We gotta get really good at this because we don't wanna drop a little fluffy. And then she has to go to the hospital because, you know, it's the Christmas seasonings greetings and we wanna have a great seasons. <gasps> okay, I think it's working. This is very good, very steady. Oh, <gasps> would you look at that, guys? These chopsticks are ready to go. All right, Flippin, I think we're ready to save you. Okay, Flippin, we're about to save you. But before I do toast, make sure I'm doing this right, okay? Little Lombin, you guys let me know, okay? Because we're all a team. This is team work. All right, here we go. Fluff, don't worry, I'm getting you, okay? Ugh. Okay, don't be frightened, Fluff. Hold on tight. <gasps> guys, I think it's working. I have to be very careful, okay? Almost got her. Hold on tight. Oh, I got Fluff! Fluffy! Oh, guys, look, we're saving Fluff! Fluff! Ah, oh, Fluffy! Oh my gosh! Fluffy, are you okay? Oh! <laughs> Fluffy's perfect! Oh my gosh, Fluff. How was it, Fluffy? How was it up there? Was it scary? Was it pretty? Let us know. Oh! Oh, Fluff, you said you saw the donut shop a 2,572 miles away? Fluffy, that's crazy! What else did you see, Fluff? You saw the perfect Christmas tree? Well, Fluff Bean, which one is that? Because little Lama Bean over here, she said she really wanted to show you the one that she liked, so which one was that? Let's go, let, let's find this out. Oh, it's the same one. Woo! Yes, perfect, guys, because I really like that one too. So let's get back to that tree because we gotta go get it right now. Lama Bean, Lama Dean, and Toast. Let's all go get it and go get this perfect Christmas tree. Come on, guys. All right, Lama Bean, Lama Dean, Fluff Bean, and Toast. Where was that tree? Where was it, Lamas? I totally forget. Oh, was it right here? Lamas, is this it? Oh, Lamas, this is such a nice tree. I'm so glad that you two crazy little Lamas can agree on this tree. Now, before we actually get this tree, though, Lama Bean, Fluff Bean, Toast, Lama Dean, I just want to say this. You have to be extremely careful on which one you choose because why not that one right there? Because that one looks pretty good, too. What's that, Toast? You don't like that one because it's too big. Toast, it's literally the same size as that one. I don't understand. That's that's okay. All right, that's okay. But that's just part of it, guys. It's just part of the picking out the Christmas tree. Lamadine, I want to hear your thoughts. Which one do you think we should get? What's that, Lamadine? Oh, he said he really likes that one right there. That one's pretty tiny. Let's check out this one right here. This Christmas tree looks very tiny. It's really cute. But llamas, I want to know which... Oh, no toast. Are you sure you want the, that one over there? That Christmas tree over there? They said yes. Okay, llamas. Well, I guess we're just going to have to get to getting that one because that one's the one. And it's getting dark soon, so we don't want to be out here in the dark because there's bears and snakes and alligators. We just don't want to be out here. Okay, let's go get that one down. All right, llamas. Now, since this is a tree, typically when you go shopping for a Christmas tree, the tree is already down and it's ready to take home. But this Christmas tree is still attached to the earth. So we have to think, how are we going to get this tree off of the earth? Llamas? Oh, my goodness. They have no idea. Toast, I'm sending you down there, okay? And you tell me how we can get this down. You let me know, you sniff it out. I don't know if bread has sensitive noses. I, I think bread don't even have a nose, but we'll let Toast figure it out. Was that Toast? Oh, Toast just said that we need an ax, a mini one in particular. Now, I don't think any of us have an ax, so this isn't good and there's like no stories around us. What's that Fluff? You brought an ax? No way Fluffy, where would you get one of those? You brought one? Where? It's underneath you. Oh my gosh, Fluff. <gasps> Fluff, where did you even get this? Fluffing, this is crazy. Like, I don't even know, like, how'd you buy this? You use my credit card? That is so typical of Fluffy. And you guys know Fluffy always steals the llama mama's credit card. Fluffy, that's not good. You tell me next time, okay? All right, here you go, Toast. Can you can you show us how to use this? Because this looks very dangerous, you know? And I don't know if, like, what Fluffy was using that for. Cutting down donut trees. Fluffy, do those even exist? Oh, crazy Fluff. Never heard of a donut tree. Anyways, we gotta get this Christmas tree down. We're gonna get it down right now. Come on, Toast. Oh, Toast, doing it with his legs. Who could down a Christmas tree with their legs? That's crazy. All right, Toast, here we go. All right, Toast, go ahead, we're counting on you. Oh, Toast, you're getting to work. 
Thank you so much, Toast. Toast, is it almost done? Timber! <gasps> Yay! Llamas, we got the tree down! We got the tree! Yes! Oh my gosh, guys, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a bunch of Christmas spirits right now. Thank you so much, Toast. Guys, check it out. Look, Toast literally did that perfect cut right there. Good job, Toast! Oh, goodness, Toast, you're gonna need a bath after this one, and ooh, you look like you're sweating a lot. But thank you so much, little Toast. Lama, say thank you to Toast. Guys, this is so awesome that we had the opportunity to get our own Christmas tree. Now, what do we do? Oh, we gotta drive 12 hours back to home, but it'll be worth it because we got to experience this. We got to experience all of this. So right now, Lamas, we gotta lift this tree up and we gotta get it in the truck, okay? Flapping, I think you should do a lot of the work, okay? Because all you were doing today was just chilling in that tree up there, okay? All right, Fluff, get to it, Lamas. Everybody, teamwork. All right, everybody, teamwork. Let's get this Christmas tree back to Florida. Everybody put in the muscles. Llama Mama's doing most of the work though. But that's okay, because I love my llamas and my little piece of bread and, oh, that's everybody. We just have a piece of toast and some llamas. We will see you guys back in the car. <laughs> Next stop, home, and then we have to decorate the tree. Good morning. So me and the llamas, we are now in the car. Look at them, they are so cute back there. We've been on the road for about three hours now. We left at 5 a.m. We are on a huge long journey back. It's a 12 hour drive. We're in South Carolina right now. We have two more states to go in and then we'll be in Florida. So I will keep you guys updated on this trip. We're all super excited to get back and decorate this tree. We finally made it to Florida after a super long road trip. And before we go inside and set up our tree, we have to go get decorations. So llamas, I really want to know, where do you want to go to get the decorations at? <coughs> oh, llama bean. What's a llama? Oh, yes, yes, llama bean. Llama bean just said that home goods should have a lot of good things. Yes, llama bean, I think so too. What's that, Fluff? That, that is right, Fluff. Fluff just said if home goods doesn't have everything, Walmart always has everything. You got that right, Fluff. So we are going to ride to our local home goods. It's a little late right now, so hopefully they're not close, and we will see you guys there. We have now made it to our local home goods. Let's do this thing. Guys, I love home goods because they always have so many things, and like you never know what you're gonna find here. So Lana, use your sensitive noses to sniff out super cute things because we want to make the house super festive. Like we want the Christmas tree and everything around the Christmas tree to look really good and like feel like Christmas. Like every time we wake up, we want it to feel like Christmas. Oh, llama smells something. What is llama? Oh, llama, that is such a beautiful one. Let's see this one. I wonder if they have like different types of like some cool looking ones. Like right here, it looks like there's red. Like we gotta think about what color thing we are we going for. Are we going for like a bunch of colors? We're just going for like red and green. They said they want it to look extremely Christmassy. Yeah, we'll go. Let's go with those llamas. Those look pretty good. I think these would look really good on the tree. There's 64 in here. That'll do it. Guys, look what little Fluffy just found. It's a hot dog. This is so cool, Fluff. Like, I've never seen an ornament like this. What's that, Fluff? Look to our right. Oh my gosh. Guys, look. It's a pizza. French fries. Oh my goodness, this is my favorite. I love French fries. Like, French fries are my favorite. Like literally my absolute favorite. That's actually extremely unique. I've never seen anything like that. And look, look at these little Hershey kisses. Fluffing, we have to get literally all of these. Let's keep looking. Oh my gosh, guys. And look at the star. Look how cute the star is. Like it's so adorable and shiny. And I like, I like how the gems are right here. I wonder what it looks like when it's lit up. All right, lemons, let's go pick out a really nice smelling candle because like, I don't know about you, but like Christmas, I like to have the smells of Christmas in the house. So hopefully we can find a really good smelling one, llamas. Llamas have the sensitive noses, so they can always find like anything. Literally, absolutely anything. Oh, over there, guys. Look. This one says Merry Christmas. But you always want to have your llama smell at first, though. Llama bean, use your sensitive nose. Does it smell good? Oh my gosh, that smells so good. It literally smells like just absolute Christmasness. Literally. Okay, we have to get this one. Mmm, this smells really good. Guys, smell it. That screams Christmas. Oh 
now we're going to Walmart. We are now at our favorite store ever, Walmart. Let me try it on. Let me, let me see if this is going to look good. Maybe it'll fit on me. How's it look? Pretty festive. Okay, so we're going to put that in the cart. Wait, now hold on. What did we come here for? Oh, yeah. Stuff for the tree. We need lights, the skirt, and the thing that holds the tree, which is like the tree holder. So, Lamas, use your sensitive noses to sniff out the lights and everything else. <gasps> Guys, nothing. Look. Oh, my gosh. Look, there's cute little donut ornaments. Oh, fluff. No fluffing. Don't eat fluff. Fluff actually thinks it's food. This happens all the time. Fluff, we have to get this. This is definitely something that fluffing would love. Oh, and look at the little ice cream cones. Yes, yes. These are kind of small, but they're so cute. So we have to get it. All right, Lamas, let's focus. We have to get <gasps> Oh, I, I say focus, and then I see something like this. A cute little pink Christmas tree. Let's go. Oh, the llamas are sniffing for the lights. Anything that make the tree look super cute. What is this? Is that llama? It's something you really want. Well, what exactly is it? Oh, oh my gosh. I've never seen anything like this. It's Santa climbing up the tree. That's so cute. Llama, that's such a good find. Fluff Bean, what do you think about this? Fluff Bean said she's all about it. Guys, we have to get this for the tree. Like, that's gonna look so good on the tree. Like, I can't wait to set this up. Like, this is gonna look so cool. But we must have lights with it as well. Cause like, look at those lights with it. Oh my gosh, look at Santa. Like, he looks like he's having so much fun climbing up that ladder. Like, this is so cool. Have you guys ever seen anything like this? Leave a comment down below. Okay, Lamas. <gasps> we are seriously super close to the light. All right, Fluffy, which one do you think we should get? Guys, last year for the Christmas tree, we had colorful lights. <gasps> oh, come with me. Comment below. Last year, we had colorful ones. I think this year we should go for maybe just like a regular white one. What do you think, Lamas? <laughs> they said yes. I think that's perfect because like it'll really bring out like our other ornaments. So Lamas, go ahead, pick it out. Perfect. What's that, Lama Bean? Oh, <gasps> yes, Lama Bean, that does make sense. Guys, Lama Bean just told me that we can't leave the store yet until we get a Christmas tree skirt. Yes, Lama, we do need one. Now let's try and find one, okay? Lamas, use your sensitive noses to try to sniff one out. I think that's gift wrapping stuff, Lamas. Oh, Lamas! Look how cute this one is. This one's so adorable. Super festive. We have to get this one, Lamas. Perfect. Now I think we have everything. Let's go home and decorate the tree. What's it, Lam? Oh, okay. Lama Bean says she loves to scan the things. So, Lama, you can scan everything if you'd like, okay? Lama Bean, how did these get in the car? Did somebody sneak these in the car, Lama? Hmm. Okay, we can get it because you already know I'm gonna make some weapons out of these guys. Candy weapons. So, we just made it back home. However, me and these crazy little llamas, you know what, it's getting really late right now. It is currently 9.47 at night, and I don't know, like we're so tired, like, oh my gosh, Fluff. Like Fluff's passing out, like we gotta get to bed soon, but that's okay, because the first thing we're doing tomorrow, Llamas, is we're gonna decorate the tree. So let's go get some great rest, and tomorrow we will see you guys, and we will be decorating the tree. All right, guys, it is now the next day. Me and the Llamas, we are super excited right now, because we're about to set up our tree. But the first thing we need to do, Llamas, is that we need to figure out which side of the living room we want to set the tree on, okay? Last year, we set it in this corner over here, which, I don't know, maybe you'll always want to set it over there again, or we have this beautiful place right over here at this corner. So Llamas, tell us, where do you want to set up the tree? Oh, the Llamas had a quick response. They said they want to set it up over here. That's a great idea, Llamas, because, you know, just a little bit of switch up, a little bit of changes, that's always fun. Anyways, the tree is outside right now. Before we bring it in, we gotta let Little Toast, he's out there right now. He's trimming up the limbs. He's making it super perfect for me and the llamas. Okay, llamas? Let's see how Toast is doing. Hey, Toast. How's it going, Toast? Can you let us know, like, what exactly are you doing here? This looks like a huge job, Toast. Oh, oh, oh. Guys, 
Toast just said that he's using these clippers to gently trim these little limbs off the off of the tree so that the Christmas tree will fit into the stand perfectly. Thank you so much, Toast, for doing that. That seems like a really hard working job. You look like you're sweating, Toast. Oh my goodness. Are you almost done? Oh, you are? Oh, okay, so the next step is we're all gonna lift the tree into the stand and it's gonna be perfect. Llamas, are you ready to do that? <laughs> Last to the stand, yeah. Wow, Lama Bee Fluffy, this is literally the most perfect Christmas tree ever. Like, it's so cute and it's just cut perfectly. Thank you so much, Toast, for trimming up the tree because the llamas love it. Now, let's just take this inside and start decorating it. <gasps> Ta-da! Guys, check it out. We just brought the tree in the house. Llamas, I want to know your first impressions on the tree. Go ahead, let us know. How about you stand next to it, Llamas? Oh, Lama Bee. How about you, Fluff? Oh my gosh. Lemon bean, let me know, like, what do you think of it? It smells really good. Oh my gosh, guys, that's the best thing about getting like a real Christmas tree, is just the smell of the Christmas tree. That's like one of my favorite things. Like when you walk in the house, you just smell a bunch of Christmas tree-ness. How about you, Fluff Bean? <laughs> Fluff Bean says that she's just really excited to decorate this tree. Fluff Bean, I am too. I just love how perfect this tree is because it's so big compared to the llamas. Just look at it. Perfect. All right, llamas, so I think the next step is to get the ornaments ready. No, actually, I think lights come first before the ornaments. Right, llamas? Right. It seems like the llamas are more experts than I am at this. So let's get these lights. Let's go over here. Come on, Fluff. Oh. oh my gosh, I totally forgot, guys. All right, llama bean, Fluff bean. I totally forgot, but the llama mama got you two crazy little llamas these festive headbands, which I think will actually work really well when decorating the tree. I just feel like when you wear a hat or something festive, it just makes everything so much better. Llama Bean, are you okay with being the little elf? Because I think this is what this one is. Let's see. Aww, look how cute little Llama Bean is. She's so cute. Oh, Llama. Okay, so Llama Bean's the elf. Oh, Llama, don't pass out yet. We have a lot of decorating to do, Llama Bean. Fluff Bean, you want the Santa hat? It's like me and Fluff are kind of matching. Look at it. Oh wait, no, I have the reindeers on. So I got the reindeers, Fluffy has Santa, and Llama Bean looks like she's the elf. So here we are. We're gonna get to decorating. Like I said, we're gonna open up the lights first and put the lights around the tree. So here we have the lights. We're gonna start weaving it from the bottom, like so, going over every other branch. I gotta squeeze back here make sure we even get it back here because we want the whole tree to be lit up. We want it to look super fancy and really nice for these crazy little llamas. So we just hung up the lights. The llamas are super pleased with it. As you can see, they're all evenly spread on there. It looks great. Now we're just gonna go through here and llamas, we're going to put on these basic ornaments. Actually, they're not that basic, but you know, the ones that aren't as special as these, like these few decorative, super fun ones. We're gonna put these, one, these ones on right after we do the normal looking ones. Now, there is 64 ornaments in this. And our tree is, you know, it's huge to the llamas, but I don't think 64 ornaments are gonna fit on there. So we're just gonna put as many as we can. It makes it look good, and then we'll move on to the fun, festive ornaments. So, llamas, let's open up these and put the hooks on them. Because remember, we have to place a hook on each of the ornaments. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys, I'm opening this box, and like, look how pretty the first ornaments are. They're these pretty, sparkly little ornaments. Llamas, look at this. Oh, Flav, Flav, you have sparkles on your face now. Okay, Llamas, I'm gonna give you each an ornament, okay? Because we're all gonna do this together. One big happy family. I'm gonna give you some hooks. There you go, Llamas. And we're all going to put the hooks on the ornaments, okay? And if you almost forgot, I will show you exactly how to do it right here. All right, guys, so it goes exactly like this. You just sling it on like so, wrap it around, and we do a loop-de-loop -loop and pull, just like that. Anyways, and then it just goes right on the tree. 
What's up, Fluff? You want to be the first one to put it on? Okay, Fluff Bean. Here, you can use mine, Fluff. I see Fluff Bean still working on her ornament. It's okay, Fluff. We all have different paces. All right, Fluff. Pick your spot on where you want to put it. Oh, she's going in for a good one. <gasps> oh, Fluff Bean. That is so perfect, guys. Look how pretty that is. Good job, Fluff. <laughs> oh, Fluff Bean, you are so crazy. Lava Bean, do you want to put yours on too? <laughs> she said yes. All right, Lava Bean. Wasalam, you want to put yours on the top of the tree? Okay, Lava Bean, let me help you with yours really quick. And then we're gonna put a bunch of these on really fast so we can get to the super fun ones, okay? All right, Lava Bean, where do you want to place it? Go ahead and sniff it out. Oh, she's sniffing hard. Oh, Lama's so excited, her headband's falling off. It's okay, we'll put that on in a little bit. Oh, Lama's on her place. It's okay, Lama. You got this. Oh, it's okay, Lama Bean. It's okay, because we never give up. Let me give you a hand, Lama. I know exactly where you want to put this. She wanted to put it right here. <gasps> Ooh, that looks gorgeous, Lama Bean. Look. Lama's so excited, guys. It's really starting to feel like Christmas right now. We're all just super excited. So we're gonna put the hooks on a bunch of these ornaments and finish decorating this tree. Guys, look how beautiful the Christmas tree looks with all of these ornaments on. I love how glittery and sparkly it is, and the llamas, they love it too. They love all things sparkle. Fluff Bean, what, what is that? She, she's talking a lot right now. Uh huh. Fluff Bean said she just really wants to put on the fun festive ones. Well, that's perfect, Fluff Bean, because that's what we're gonna do right now. Fluff Bean, why don't you let me know which one do you wanna put on first, okay? Go ahead, sniff it out. Oh, Fluff! Oh my goodness, Fluff, you are so excited right now. Your whole hat flew off. Let's look at this one. This one is the hot dog, and that makes sense why Fluff Bean really wanted to open this one because she loves hot dogs. I mean, last week she literally ate a pretzel dog from Auntie Anne's. Look at this hot dog, it's so cute. I love how the relish is sparkly, and even the mustard. Like, whoever made this, they put a lot of time and effort into it. All right, Fluff Bean, I'm gonna let you put this on the tree, okay? Let me get you a hook, just like this, just like that. All right, Fluff Bean, I hope you're feeling super strong today. Hold on to the ornament and place it on the tree wherever you want it to go, okay? Oh. She wants to put it right here. Fluff Bean, I think that's a perfect spot because I feel like this spot on the Christmas tree was just missing something. Wow, guys, look at that hot dog. That is beautiful. Oh, Fluff Bean, how is that hot dog tasting? She said it could have more flavor. Okay, moving right along, Fluff. What is another fun festive ornament? Little Llama Bean, get over here. I want you to choose one, Llama. Oh, the french fries. Okay, Lama Bean, let's see how cool these french fries look. Let's look at it, little Lama. Guys, let's check it out. Oh, wow. I love how the box is just sparkling, and even the words french fries, they're sparkling as well, so it's like super cute. I like the red, that's super Christmassy, and the fries, this is just making me really hungry. Lama Bean, do you feel that? Like, I don't know about you, but like when I look at this Christmas tree, I'm just gonna be super hungry all the time. You know what would be even cooler? If these ornaments were scented, that would be cool. Like, if you just smelled the, the french fries, but maybe that would take away from the Christmas scent. All right, Lama Bean, let's choose this place where you wanna put yours, okay? Oh, Lama! Lama, that's a great spot, Lama. Go ahead, put it on. Good Lama Bean! Oh, guys, look how perfect that looks. French fries, it looks perfect right next to the red ornament. It makes everything just pop! Okay, I actually wanna open one right now because I'm really excited. I think I wanna go for the passport because, I don't know, I just love to travel. Me and the Lamas, we love to travel a lot. And you know what, guys? I really want to ask you a question, okay? Because me and the llamas, we do want to go see some snow soon. We do want to go on a trip. We love traveling. Where would you want us to go? Like, what cold area would you like us to travel to? Leave a comment down below because me and the llamas, we will literally do anything super exciting and adventurous. Okay, let's look at this little passport. 
this is really cool because like it's just it actually looks like the passport like an actual passport except it's a little thicker but so one of the main reasons we actually got this ornament is because me and the llamas we love to travel a lot and it really reminded us of this summer when we went to Italy if you guys haven't seen those videos go ahead there's a whole playlist of the llamas traveling go look at them because the llamas love to travel and the passport are definitely in there there's actually a whole video I think it's the Canada candy one where you can see the llamas passports even Lama Dean has a passport even toast everybody has a passport it's super cool so go check it out anyways I think I'm gonna place this one probably over here come on guys over here I think this this part of the tree over here is just missing um I think right here would actually be perfect oh yeah let me go back a little bit more just like that Oh my gosh, that's that's awesome. Like this is really coming together, llamas. So I think we have three more ornaments. Actually, Fluffing, get excited, okay? Because I have some ornaments that are a huge surprise for you, okay? Look, it's a donut. Oh, Fluffing, you can't eat the ornaments. Fluffing, do you like this? Oh, Fluff loves it, and it has sprinkles on it. I know at Thanksgiving, Fluffing, you were really upset because your donut didn't have sprinkles on it, but th this ornament, it has sprinkles, so. You know what I could see happening, guys? Well, actually, Fluffing would wake up in the middle of the night, and we would wake up in the morning, and the, all the food ornaments would be gone because Fluffing ate them, and then Fluffing would be like, oh, la, mama, mama, I have a huge stomach ache, and I'd be like, well, they're ornaments off the tree because you probably ate them, Fluff. I think this cute little donut ornament would look really perfect right in here, right next. Actually, no, we're gonna go a little bit higher with that one. Just like this, guys. Look at that, that's so cute. This tree is just a food tree. It's just looking super good. Perfect for the llamas because llamas love food. Okay, we have two more donut ornaments and a Reese's and a little Santa Claus. So we're gonna put that on, we're gonna put the rest of the ornaments on, and then we're gonna show you the full tree. Oh, actually, we have to put the star on top of the tree. So we'll put these ornaments on, and then we'll put the star on together, and then light it up. Let's do the thing. Guys, check it out. Little Fluffy just set up the little Santa on the ladder, and it's so cute. Apparently, he moves up and down the ladder, but we're gonna wait and see in one second. Little Lava Bean, why don't you go ahead and put the star on top of the tree and then we'll plug everything in and see how good it looks. All right, Llama, come on. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. You got this, Llama. <gasps> wow, Llama Bean, that is so beautiful. Great job, Llama. Okay, let's plug everything in. In three, two, one. Wow, llamas, this looks so good. Oh, it looks so pretty. of picking out the Christmas tree, the decorations, and setting it all up. But guys, me and the llamas, we really wanna know, have you decorated your tree yet this year? Let us know, leave a comment down below because me and the llamas are super concerned. We really love Christmas. I know we decorated our tree a little bit early this year, but we're just so excited for Christmas. And that being said, me and the llamas, we're gonna be creating so many videos this year for Christmas. So be on the lookout for those because we're gonna be doing so many Christmas festive things. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Me, Little Llama Bean, and Fluff Bean, we love you so much. Say bye, Llama. Bye. Say bye, Fluff.